Hello everybody, this is Darren from Arctic Arsenal, and this is my latest lightsaber build. And this is a uh, Inception from Roman's Props, and customer sent this in to me to install the electronics. It's got a Nano Biscotti version 4 from Plector Labs, uh, 18650 lithium-ion battery, blue-blue-white uh, tri-rebel LED. And uh, customer asked me to put in a 3D printed uh, chassis to hold the soundboard. Uh, the one that I ordered should have fit. Uh, for some reason, I think the chassis was designed around an earlier version of this Sabre, or a later one, I'm not sure, but either way, it didn't fit. It uh, should have gone through this grenade section, through the clamp, and up to the booster here. I had to cut it off right between the clamp and the booster, because the ID of this booster section um, was too small for the chassis to fit. Uh, so what happened there... I lost the area that holds the speaker and the charge port. And so I had to get creative and uh, work around that. So what I did, I put the charge port in the clamp. You can see it here. It's the black thing. Actually, i got a kill plug in there right now. And the speaker is sitting in here in a custom-made speaker holder that I made. Now, with the Nano Biscotti, you don't have to use a kill plug. It's got the deep sleep mode, but I've got one in there anyway. It's up to the customer whether he wants to use it or not. With the deep sleep mode, uh, if the Sabre sits idle for a specified amount of time, it just goes to sleep and uses very minimal power and it'll sit on the shelf for months before the battery will drain. Or you can use the kill plug and shut it off entirely. It's up to you. I'll just pull this out and you can see there's the charge port there as well as the switch. And this just slides in. It's kind of a friction fit. And went with the Tri-Rebel on this. The customer wanted a lighter blue shade. The Cree LEDs are arguably slightly brighter, um, but they're a deeper shade of blue, I find. Uh, the Rebel LEDs are a lighter shade, and I personally like them myself for the color. So that's what we went with on this one. And it's got the three stock sound fonts that come on the Nano Biscotti. It's got light meat, gray meat, and dark meat. Uh, I believe the first one is uh, light meat. I'll demonstrate it here. This is kind of a nice saber. I kind of like it, although this is not a dueling saber. The LED module is just sitting right in there with the lenses. And the blade socket is probably only about maybe three quarters of an inch deep. And uh, just a little tiny set screw there to hold it in. I would definitely not duel with this saber, uh, but it's good for show and it's sturdy enough to swing around and uh, show people at conventions, but uh, I wouldn't go banging it against anything. We'll just pop a blade in here and show you what it looks like. And you can see that uh, blue color, it's uh, almost a sky blue. It's a very nice shade, I like it myself. And the white flash on clash, very pronounced on this. And Nano Biscotti has a, um, I think they call it mute on the go. You just press the button until you get the first beep. And it lights up without making the ignition sound. If you want to have it on silent mode, and then just... And if you want to change the sound fonts, you hold it a little longer. This would be gray meat. Nice and loud. The uh, the speaker is sitting right about here, so I got about two inches of uh, resonance chamber there. Uh, makes it nice and loud, good resonance to it. And this will be dark meat. show you here you can spin the uh, the cap off this I believe this saber comes with a, a flat cap as well the customer didn't send it to me and there's the speaker deep down in there so it's good resonance chamber on this 
anyway, I'm happy with the way this one turned out. I might just buy one of these myself. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.